Hello everybody on YouTube. This is Rusty from Possum Bayou. This is the introduction to part two of my de design preservations building build. This one's going to be where I pretty much assemble it. It's kind of long and you'll see some things in there of what to do, what not to do. But one funny thing in this is I have edited some other pieces out because it was really, really long. And I sit out on my carport doing this little thing. And it was, it was a fun day. It was an interesting day. I've basically done this plus all the other videos that's going to be in this series, with except probably the final one where I'll wear the thing, in one day. And you'll see in this video, there's a place where you'll notice that I realize that I have screwed something up, basically trying to do this thing backwards in front of the camera, then I realized even after I went off through all that labeling where the top of the thing was and all that so I could orient it, I still kind of got them backwards, so I had to do a little backtrack and take it apart. Just watching there, you'll see where I, <laughs> I start fumbling for the instructions. I think I messed up. So enjoy the video, everybody. Well, I got my camera set up. My neighbors are doing a little trimming with a chainsaw, but I'm outside doing this because I'm enjoying a nice day. Shouldn't be too bad. For what I'm going to do, I do have something that I can kind of check the square of these with. Now then, the instructions. Okay. I can look at the picture because the word is not real good. Five oh four oh three. Make sure I got so I got them all the top, so if I'm looking at the back, I got it. That's not the right one, that's oh five. That's five six oh four. And 03, this first two of them will stick together. 04 had to be sanded on this one side. There I got the top mark right there. I keep everything situated. A little bit of glue in here. First I'm going to put it right here. Said I'm using this Permatex Super Glue. This will dry pretty quick. So I'm going to hold this in place for a couple of minutes. Maybe too many times, like I think I may have just done, I may have to re glue it. Nope, it's kind of set in place right now. But I don't know what is the next step. Wind blew off my sheet. And the next step, I'm going to put the long back on. Get this up. So I got to hop up there. This piece here will actually go over here. Right here, this is kind of handy where all of this was sanded square. out here make sure I got it 
prayer. Over there a couple of seconds. That glue kind of set up. there and off the side see if there's another little something I want to do well I kind of messed up there I put the wrong thing there it's not quite set up it's set up enough to hold this is how it was supposed to go Lord gotta look at the instructions Look the picture. Now then, let's hold it here. Get all the edges lined up. Make sure it's held square. Couple of minutes. Let's sit off the side for a little bit. Now, again, let's get this situated. Probably use a little bit too much of the glue. enough to, to tack it up to where it'll stay. Do something like this little square piece. Now let's, let's set that to the side and let that sit there. And then we will take the six, which should be, we'll bring this piece here and I'll start it off with. And this piece, this is how they We'll go together. Okay. We got that. This to the back. Check this a little bit. Back that up. There we go. Now, that's not the brick. The picture kind of looks how it goes. Study the picture a minute to see how they okay. This one does go on the front. And we'll sit right there. Just hold it on for a second to the holes. The glue does what it's going to do. I'll set it off to the side. It needs a little bit more lining up. glue there. 
seeped right under there. Let's see if I'm not having a problem with that little basically the door is there. I think I may be having something going on there. Sit for a minute. There's a dolly there. Now these have set up a little bit more. Still a little bit on the flimsy side. We can piece it together now. Just check the camera's not exactly in the center, but this camera doesn't have something I can look at it from the front and see how it's lined up. Okay, glue has to be put on a little indention here and this back wall here. Mainly because this end's got the brick detail on it. I'm going to have to get this to set first. Place the super glue gets set up. All right, make sure all the corners are okay. Here's the next step. We'll do on here. We'll go on this sand here a little bit. Lay it down. Let's just dry fit this little thing here in place. Okay, the little notches that were made into it fit up perfectly fine. I got a little gap right there. But let's see if I can figure out why that is. Oh god, I know what that is. Nothing a little 
putty can't fix up. There's like a little detail right that runs right up along there that's it's right there that's kind of in the way. Maybe that's supposed to sit on top of that. Nope. Doesn't work. But anyway, so far everything's kind of gone. Had to reverse a couple of things in there, but a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. side of that so it to be visible some dots along that ball hopefully stick it into the wall there lay it down There it goes. That's pretty much the basics for this. All the walls and the loading dock. It's got molded in doors and windows on it. Takes a little tedious painting, but I'll do that as well in a video. For right now, we'll take a little quick pause. All right, now to do the roof. Basically what I usually do is set these on top of the styrene that they provide for the roof. It's just plain old styrene here. And then trace it. Kind of on the inside. But it's going to sit on the inside. Quit market. Maybe if I shake it a little bit, kind of lift it out a little bit. Move it. There's basically the shape. The easiest way, this is fairly thin, but the easy about the best way to cut this. Like that. And use the back side of this thing. Ah, it slipped on me. Basically, you can just snap. And I do it along this same way. Oops, I'm going to slide on me. There we go. Let's store it. Just so you can kind of pop it. Get 
fingers. Hopefully it's not too small on the inside. The only problem is I went a little bit far there, but that's easy enough to fix. Get out. It will actually pretty much just fit right in there. It fits pretty good. It'll fit pretty good. Maybe a little sanding on the edges for that. What you do have are these pieces here. Will have to be just a little below that top. A little pot of super glue here and there on them. There is a. I got messed up the brick. There's some brick detail. It's right about in there. You kind of run off the bottom. Ah. Actually, we do take that, get about a guesstimate. It doesn't have to be across the whole corner, you're not even going to see these. You just turn it on the end, look for that brick detail. There's a couple spots of this. And just below, right about the bottom edge of that brick detail. You just push it down just a little bit. They're lined up. Then we have this piece. It's a little piece off of here. Just enough to give it something to kind of glue it on. I'm going to try it on this part first. Okay. Into there. That's that. Little piece here. It don't have to be the exact width of this thing to fit in there. Just want to, something to glue on the surface. Actually, just takes a few spots of it to kind of hold it in spot in a place. This is going to be right about in here. Even this little spot here kind of needs something. In here, send it kind of up on ten. Be careful not to get it on your fingers. At least I got a little bit on my fingers, but it's all right. Not too bad. That'll kind of keep all that together. What I did notice, I may need to do this a little bit to get in there. And 
this is Zen Scope. If you was doing an HO scale, you might want to use the whole sheet of sandpaper instead of these ones that I've got cut off that are just the right size for using on a sander. So you might need more room to like the long side there to work it. Right here. You can still see all the writing and stuff on this thing, but possibly use this. I do have a little bit of an issue there where I took a little bit much off. Let's push this up a bit. I lost my piece there. Okay. Let's just get that in there. Okay. <coughs> we can actually run a bead of this super glue just a little bit. Some of these areas. together. I think what I'm going to do this end is a little bit of super glue and some baking soda to fix that. I won't do that on camera but there we go. Even this little piece. Now a lot of this roof is going to take a lot of times what I'll do is use tissue paper and do like a dark wash after I put the tissue paper on the top which will cover little blips in these things. So there it is, it's put together. I'm going to paint it just an overall everything with a base coat or a primer coat. And a lot of that will end up being the trims of the windows and the doors and even the color of this. But I'll have to do a little painting that with some concrete color. Not bad. So that's the build right now for this. I'll do the painting on the next video. Well, that was part two. I hope everybody enjoyed that video. It's been a bit long and just watching somebody do something. Sometimes it can be interesting, sometimes it can't. Just hope it was kind of enlightening how to, when you're doing these things with a camera and you got to kind of reverse, be real careful so you don't get everything messed up and you have to and redo some things. But anyway, I hope, hope everybody leaves some good comments. Just, let me know what you thought of the video and if you have any suggestions of improving some how-to videos, just leave them in the comments. Thanks, everybody.